the, like one of the most important things to do in childhood and now if we didn't get that experience in adulthood is to say that an emotion only occurs for a very important reason. I mean, only ever. Even when we're looking at people and saying, my gosh, they're overreacting, I can guarantee you if you understood their perception in, in the experience, they're not overreacting at all. In fact, they're probably underreacting. That emotion is always a carrier of a personal truth. When I say true, what I don't mean is it's 100% accurate. Like a personal truth doesn't necessarily have to be accurate to be important. It exists. And that is why you're having this emotion. So to be able to recognize your personal truth is to be able to say, there's a very good reason why this is cropping up. This is a thought or a belief within me. I have to recognize what that thought or belief is in order to understand what this emotion is trying to convey to me. And then you can step outside of that and objectively look at that belief. And that's where the, you know, the real work begins of deciding whether or not you want to keep that belief anymore. Mm. Whether it's actually accurate, trying to shoot holes in the evidence. Mm. Or saying, you know what, that's definitely something I'm going to even more consciously own as my personal truth. 